One of the most popular descenders for caving is the Petzl Stop, which is an auto-stopping bobbin device that has been around since the early 80s. And the current version, with the black plastic side plate closure catch, has remained unchanged for more than 20 years. In 2019, Petzl is releasing a new version of the stop that will reportedly be available for purchase in July. The new stop is very similar to the old version in several key ways. It still has an upper fixed bobbin and a lower spring-loaded rotating bobbin that cams against the rope providing a brake that is equipped with a release handle. The anodized aluminum side plates and safety catch are very similar in design to the old stop. The mechanism for inserting or removing the rope and locking off the device are mostly unchanged. There are a few key changes to the design. The most obvious is the newly designed brake release, which has a spring-loaded handle that provides more leverage than the old handle. The new handle is similar to those on other Petzl devices such as the Grigri, Rig, Evac, and ID. The greater leverage makes it easier to release the brake, especially on large diameter ropes. It is still a single action mechanism where the handle must be released for the brake to engage. There is a tendency in an out of control rappel to grab the handle in a panic, so some training is needed to develop the habit of releasing the handle in an emergency. The new handle design makes it less likely that it may get bumped or squeezed, causing an accidental release of the brake. The new stop also no longer has a hole in the lower bobbin for locking out the brake mechanism, although this was a function that was rarely used by most cavers. Another big change is that now both bobbins are made from stainless steel. The old stop had a steel insert on the upper aluminum bobbin to mitigate wear, but now the entire upper bobbin is stainless. Neither of the bobbins on the new stop are removable or replaceable. The bolt and nut configuration has been replaced by riveted pins. This means that once one of the bobbins wears through, then the device will need to be replaced. Neither the upper nor lower bobbin appears to be solid stainless steel, and while stainless will wear much slower than aluminum, only time will tell what these changes will mean to the lifetime of the device. The oval slot on the lower side plate has been enlarged to allow the newly designed Freno Z carabiner to rotate through it. The new stop weighs 339 grams, which is only 13 grams, or 4%, heavier than the old version. But if you use it with the new Freno Z, which is 11 grams lighter than the old Freno, then the devices are essentially the same weight. The new stop is now rated for use with ropes from 8.5 to 11 millimeters, whereas the old version was rated for 9 to 12 millimeters. The stop is now being marketed primarily for sport rather than professional use. The reduction in recommended rope diameter may be more a reflection of this shift away from rope access and rescue use than a change in the performance of the device itself. It was always difficult to use the stop on ropes over 11 millimeters in diameter, and it was always practical to use it on ropes below 9 millimeters. The final version of the new stop has not been released yet, but the prototype is missing the EN341 Type A certification needed by rescue professionals. From a very brief time using the new stop, I am left with a few impressions. The handle now points down rather than up when carrying it on a gear loop, and because the handle folds, the overall length of the stop is now shorter. This makes it less likely to catch on things when traveling through horizontal cave. The shape of the bobbins has changed, and the path the rope takes is slightly different. I haven't had a chance to test it on a wide variety of rope diameters or in various wet or muddy caving conditions, but my first impression is that the brake engages a little more positively and releases more easily. Cavers have often joked that the device should be called the Petzl Slow because the brake doesn't always fully engage. Other cavers have often complained that constant pressure on the handle to get the brake to release, in especially deep vertical caves, causes significant fatigue and pain to the left hand. I believe the new design improves both these issues. Although the new Petzl Stop won't be available commercially for a few months, you will almost certainly be able to get one from the usual caving vendors including OnRope One, Intermountain Outfitters, or Car Sports. Please note that this review was not sponsored or endorsed in any way by the manufacturer.